Welcome to the screencast on how to use the Nimbus screenshot extension if you are using a Chromebook. So here I am working on a Chromebook. I'm going to show how to install an extension. To do this, you go down to this little apps icon in the bottom left corner, click on that, and I'm going to go to the Chrome Web Store. So the Chrome Web Store will open as its own tab. As a student, you should start off right in the area that has apps and extensions available for Franklin students. This area is listed on the left side. It's at the bottom here where it says forfranklinsabers.org. Again, this is a page of any apps and extensions that students can install. I'm going to scroll down this page and look for the Nimbus screenshot. It's this black grayish with the uh, color wheel around it. It says Nimbus screenshot. When I mouse over that, I'm going to click on free to install it and I'm going to click add. So this installs an extension in the top right of my Chrome browser. Now on the install page, this is actually interesting. This, this looks like it's doing an install. It's really not. This is just an animated graphic. It gets to 75% and they want you to install this other Nimbus Notes extension. You don't have to do that. Just close this tab. The extension installs just fine as long as you see it in the top right corner. So here's an example of how I would use Nimbus Screenshot. So I pulled up Google Maps and let's say I want to take a picture of this area here in Milwaukee. To do this, I go up and I click on the Nimbus extension, little N logo that's up here. Oops, let me get off that. Little N logo here. And I can choose to take a picture of the selected area. I'm going to choose selected area. This changes my cursor. You can see my cursor now is a little crosshair. So now I can click and drag and draw a box around whatever I want to take a picture of. So I'm just going to grab Milwaukee here. And as you can see, after I select the area below it, there's some tools that appear. Edit, Save, and Cancel. I want to edit this screenshot, so I'm going to click on the little pencil. This opens in another window now, and there are some uh, tools provided by Nimbus here at the top. So you can see all these different tools where I can draw or annotate right over my picture. So let's say I want to put in an arrow. I'm going to click on the arrow, and I'm going to draw over the picture, so it's putting the arrow in. Let's say I also want to add some text. Maybe I would write some, you know, I'll just put text for now, but maybe I would, you know, say what that location is. And so now I'm able to draw over this picture. Now when I'm all done, I'm going to go over here and click this blue done button. And this gives me some choices for saving this image. If I do save as image, this saves to the Chromebook's hard drive. Or if I do send to Google, this will save it as an image within Google Drive. However, if I put it in Google Drive, I can't easily put it on my Google site. So I'm going to choose save as image. You can see the file saving in the bottom left corner. Now to get to that file, if you want to see where it is, you can click on this little arrow here and choose show in folder. This will open up my downloads area. The downloads area is where any images save on your Chromebook. So if I was working in my Google site, I would choose to upload an image and I would pick this picture from the downloads area to bring into my Google site. So that's how you use Nimbus.